Hey guys! So, you've probably seen a lot of videos from me about wheelchair tennis and things that I've been doing, and especially on Instagram. I've been posting videos on my story about me actually playing and working with a professional here in Fairhope, and there's just all these things with wheelchair tennis, and I was thinking, oh, that would be a cool video talking about my tennis chair that I've been loaned. So that's this week's video, and as always, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to help my channel grow and reach more people. So right off the bat, my tennis chair has slanted wheels that most sport chairs have, and that's to make sure that it doesn't tip over. And there are different kinds of sport chairs, so you can either have a tennis chair or a basketball chair, and a basketball chair can be used for tennis but a tennis chair can't be used for basketball because basketball in a wheelchair requires a lot of collisions and the chair has to take a lot of damage. So there's extra supports on a basketball chair that my tennis chair doesn't have. But also you get strapped in. There's this tight strap that's plastic and it tightens and you basically are strapped in. You can't move and the back of the seat is real small so I have to sit up mostly on my own and the strap does help with that a little bit but it's a bit of an ab workout pushing the chair. Because my disability affects my legs and sometimes when I'm really focused on something I'll accidentally kick my legs out or they move when I don't want them to, I also have a strap for my feet and there's little slats in the place where you put your feet and you can just stick a strap through there and pull it through and it's really helpful because my feet will stay in place and if I'm really focused on doing tennis they won't slide out and go all over the place and so I really appreciate that. My tennis chair unlike my day chair also doesn't have handles to push it's entirely manual and I have to push it myself everywhere that I go and Sometimes it's a little difficult because I'm not quite used to it yet and the wheels and turning is different because normally in my chair you would push on the wheel, the one side of the wheel, and it would turn the other way. Now I have to pull on the wheel on the side where I'm turning to have it turn. It's a little backwards than what I'm used to and it's fast. It's a lot faster than my day chair, so I'm still getting used to it, and there have been a couple times that I'm like, oh, I wish there were handles on the back of this thing so someone else could push me, but I'm getting used to it, and that's something that's really different. The tennis chair, kind of similar to the wheelie bar on my chair that keeps me from flipping over, it has three small wheels. So it has the two big ones, two little ones in the front, and then it has one little one in the back and we were asking about that because I got in the chair and it immediately leans back a little bit and it's like rocking back and forth like an uneven kitchen table and I was like why why is it doing that like that's weird and it scared me and Evan was like oh that's for like on the court if you have uneven ground like it won't mess you up and I was like oh that's so cool and I've been using it on the tennis court because at the tennis courts where I'm playing, they have a new one that is wheelchair accessible, but the ground, it's like, I don't know what it is, but it's dirt and it moves around and it's not awesome to use a wheelchair in. So we pick up the tennis chair and squeeze it through the person-sized gate for the other tennis court that's solid ground. And there are just imperfections in the ground there's little dips and kind of potholes. They're not very big, but that wheel comes in handy because I don't have to worry about those or avoiding them. I can just go straight over them and there's no problem. And another use I've kind of found for them because the tennis chair, you go all the way back with your hands and push all the way forward. And it's kind of like swimming the butterfly for any of my swimmers who watch, where you kind of move your body like this and I've kind of learned I can use that wheel in the back and kind of use the rocking to move myself faster and give myself momentum. So that's really nice. It definitely freaked me out the first time it happened because I was like, oh my gosh, it moves. Ah. 
So another thing that's different that really makes me nervous and is weird is that the tennis chair doesn't have parking brakes on them. Like there isn't a little thing I can push so the wheelchair will stay in place when I'm getting in and out and also when it's being transported. And this was kind of funny when we were bringing it home because we didn't have anything to strap it in with in the back of my mom's car. So anytime we'd go faster or slower, we could hear like wheels turning and then thunk as it hit the back seat because it would just move around on its own with the movement of the car. And we're like, we don't, we, there's not brakes on it. We don't have anything to tie it with. Like, what do we do? And now when we take it someplace, we have straps that we tie it in with, but I still can't use brakes on it. So like if I'm on a hill or something, I'm gonna have to hold the wheel, the wheels still in order to keep it from going all over the place. And that's something that I'm like, oh, I wish it had that like my day chair does, but it doesn't, so I just have to deal with it. So all in all, I really like the sport chair. It's really weird just cause it's so new and different and there's things that I'm like, oh, my other chair doesn't do this and this makes me a little uncomfortable. But I'm learning how to use it and I can actually go pretty fast and pick up some decent speed when I'm pushing. And it's really exciting and this whole wheelchair tennis thing is exciting and I thought my chair was awesome so I wanted to talk about it. This video was made possible by my patrons on Patreon. Robert DeBoer, Timothy Cordomanchi, Katie Little, and Terry Sentner. To become a patron yourself, visit patreon.com and subscribe. You can choose a certain dollar a month for different benefits with me and view special patron-only posts to get updates on my videos. If you can't support me through Patreon, just like, share, comment, subscribe, boost my video so more people can reach me. Thanks to all of you, and I'll see you guys in two weeks. Bye!